Well, you made it this far, so you must be hanging in there with me and being able to follow through on the lessons. So, so far, we installed, we downloaded and installed Ubuntu Server. We updated and upgraded our server with the latest, greatest security packs and packages, whatever it may need in there. So the next thing on our list is installing Myra DB. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. So let me go ahead and minimize my list and get that out of the way. We are already logged into our Ubuntu server. So what we're going to type in here now first, before you ever install anything, always again do a sudo apt update just to be sure it's updated. All right, there, just to be sure we're good and good and go. Okay, all packages are up to date. Perfect. Next thing we're going to do is do a sudo. Let me clear the screen here so we can stay one command line at a time. Okay. So sudo apt. Now this time we're going to install something. So we're going to install sudo apt install with a space in between them. Myra. Myra db dash server okay remember it's not actually a full server people will get lost in this whole concept also when we install these different packages onto a server i refer to them as services but it's a database server but it's a service running on our ubuntu server i hope that clarifies that a little bit hit enter okay again it's going to come up and tell you hit y yes or no to continue yes we're going to continue and we're going to let her rip. Okay, so at that point, it's installing all the packages and everything it needs so you can have a brand new database server up and running using MyraDB. And see how fast that is? Absolutely quick. So MyraDB is now installed. The next thing you have to do, I'm going to clear the screen again. The next thing we have to do is we have to set up what's called secure installation. So it's a security process for your database server to make it more secure. We all want that to happen. So all you'll do again is type in sudo space. Now you're going to type in mysql because remember MyRDB is a derivative from mysql underscore secure underscore installation. installation make sure everything's spelled right i-n-s-t-a-l-l-a-t-i-o-n okay so sudo secure installation hit enter okay enter current password for root enter for none we don't have a root password so just hit enter do you want to set a root password i'm going to recommend right now no do not set a root password hit none Remove anonymous users. For this demo purposes, I would say no. For you setting the MyRDB server up as a production server, I would say yes. Remove the anonymous user because obviously that's an attack point, right? If we talk about cybersecurity, that's a place where hackers can use the anonymous user account if it's left open and they can enter that. But we're going to say no. We're not going to remove it. Okay. Disallow remote login remotely. Okay, so it says normally root should only be allowed to connect from the local host. This ensures that somebody cannot access the root password from the network. All right, we're going to say no for now because we want to access this from our network. So we're just going to say no. All right, remove the test database and access to it. No, leave the test database because it's something that we can look at when we first connect to this thing. So no, enter. Reload privilege table now. Okay, so there's a privilege table. When I show you how to set up user accounts, that you're going to have to know uh, that you have to flush the privileges each time. So this is going to reload those privileges. So yes, we're going to reload them. Okay, so thanks for using MyRDB. Clear the screen again and enter. Okay, so that is all that is needed to set up MyRDB or to install MyRDB. We have to do the setup yet. Let me go ahead and open my notes back up here. Here's my notes. So installing MyRDB, check. We did that. On the next video, I'm going to show you how to configure MyRDB for allowing outside connections to it. 
It's very important when you're trying to manage this thing. And adding user accounts to the database, not to Ubuntu server, but to the database server or service. So we can access all those great databases you're going to be creating. So I'll see you back here in the next video so we can go over that lesson. And uh, stay tuned.